In this session, let us learn the three domains of artificial intelligence and understand how to play the games that are associated with each of these domains. The three domains of artificial intelligence are data, computer vision, and natural language processing. The first domain is data. Data is all around us. They are nothing but raw facts and needs to be processed to get meaningful information. It is the core of any AI system. Artificial intelligence can learn patterns in the data to automate tasks for a variety of business benefits. For example, Amazon uses predictive analysis to get information on what the customers are actually looking for to grow their business. The second domain is natural language processing. It is the ability of a computer program to understand human language as it is spoken. Let us take the example of Alexa. How does this work? A human talks to the machine. The machine captures the audio. It then converts it into text and then processes the text, gets the result and in turn sends the result back to the human in the form of an audio. So this is how natural language processing works. The third domain is computer vision. Do you think machines can see? Yes, they can with the help of artificial intelligence. AI enables machines to see images, process them and analyze them based on certain algorithms. So we can define computer vision as the process of capturing, processing and analyzing real world images and video to allow machines to extract meaningful information from the physical world. One of the most prominent application fields is medical computer vision where information from image data is used to diagnose the patient. It's now game time. Let us learn how to play a few games based on these domains to understand these domains better. The first game that we would be playing is the rock, paper and scissor. Now this is a very old and simple game which shows the power of artificial intelligence and machine learning to learn, adapt and respond. The game has three simple rules. A paper can wrap a rock, a scissor can cut the paper and the rock can break the scissor. Now the players of this game will have to guess what the opponents will choose by making appropriate shape to defeat them. This is a simple game where the machine tries to predict the next move of the participant. This is the website which you'll have to type in one of the browser like Edge or Google Chrome to play rock, paper, scissor. Let me show you how it responds. Now I'm playing the game. Let me first choose say paper. It also chose the same. Let me choose rock. It chose the same. Now scissor. The same. So it's a tie. Let me try paper. I don't follow a specific pattern. Rock. Scissor. Now I win this. Now let me try to make the next guess. I am going to click on scissor yes i win again now let me try to choose paper 
It's a tie again. Now let me try to choose rock. I lose. Now let me try to choose rock again. It's a tie. Now let me try to choose paper. I win this. So you can try to play this particular game based on following a specific pattern or you can make random moves. I try to make random moves in this game. The second game that you will be playing is the mystery animal which is based on natural language processing. This is a very simple game in which you will ask 20 questions and one player pretends to be the animal. In our case, the machine is going to be pretending as the animal. And we will be asking 20 yes or no questions to the machine. Based on the given answer, the player has to guess the name of the animal. So let us try to play this game. It is very simple. The URL for this is mysteryanimal.withgoogle.com Are you a reptile? No, I am not a type of reptile. Okay. Are you a bird? Nope, I don't fit into the bird category. Hmm. Are you an insect? Home and insects. Nope, that's not me. Keep trying. Hmm. Let me try this. Do you swim? Yeah, I love to swim. Heads up, you have 15 questions left. Are you a type of fish? Indeed, I am a type of fish. Let me make a wild guess then. Are you a goldfish? Holy moly, I thought my secret was safe. I am indeed a goldfish. It only took you seven questions to figure it out. If you want to keep playing, say start a new round. If you would have actually noticed, it took me six questions. Between the third and fourth, it automatically jumped to the next question. Let us now try to play the third game, which is Emoji Scavenger Hunt. Now this game is based on computer vision where the machine initiates the game by showing an emoji. Now we will have to find the objects that match with the emojis within the time limit. So what we can do is we can make use of the cell phone and the laptop or we can draw it on the paper and show it in front of the cell phone or the laptop. So it's up to us on how to play this game. Let's play this. Emoji scavenger hunt. Hey, you found a laptop. Hey, you found a bed. Simply trying to find the images on Google and laptop and playing this on mobile. Hey, you found a pants. Hey, you found a coat. So with this game, you might have noticed that I was able to easily find the emojis that it was showing with the help of my laptop and mobile. And with that, we come to the end of this session where we have learned 
the three main domains of AI, which are data, computer vision, and natural language processing. We can imagine these three domains to be the three strands in a breed. They all together constitute the concept called artificial intelligence. I hope you understood the concept clearly. Please do like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.